figured I would make this video because I am starting to see some success on the TikTok shop. To celebrate my wins, but I also wanted to share the information that I've been learning as I'm learning it because I want to be able to help you if you wanted to earn money on TikTok shop. And I also want to be able to look at myself from the future and go, okay, that's what I thought then. And just to see how much things change or don't change and to see how much I've grow from now until then. So what I'm going to cover in this video are things that I've learned about the TikTok shop. This is not going to cover how to get approved for the TikTok shop. So you still have to go through the approval process of having the 5,000 followers for a brief period of time. TikTok did lower the requirements. Some people have been able to get in with only a thousand followers. They also have this workaround method, which I don't recommend. I'm not going to go into it. So let me go over the tips that I have for the TikTok shop. The first tip that I have for you is to watch successful creators. If you go on TikTok shop and someone is saying that they're making all kinds of money or you just keep following their videos and you and you just know that they're getting the views they're getting the sales. You can tell who's getting sales if you go on their profile. Let me actually bring it up real quick. If you go on someone's profile and you go to, this is mine, for example, you go to the word that says showcase. Everyone that has TikTok shop will have a showcase and go to the top part. Let me see if the camera will zoom in. The top part right here will tell you how many sales right now I have 800 plus items sold. So you can kind of tell how successful a TikTok shop creator is by viewing that. And then just look at their videos, look at the kind of products that they pick, look at how they showcase the products, you know, what do they say, what kind of hooks are they're using. You're not studying them to copy them, you're studying them to see what makes them successful. So I often will take notes, I'll just keep something in mind, I'll video, I'll, uh, I'll favorite their videos so I can refer back to later so I can make my video in a similar style. It doesn't even have to be the same product. It'd be a different product. Maybe I like the angle or, or just some other feature or part of their video that I end up liking. I'll, I'll favorite it and then I'll come back later and I'll look at that. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is creators that are successful and I have also had this as well, will do more than one video per product. So you can do like a life cycle of you using the product, um, unboxing your first use of it, after a month, you know, six months down the line, but you can also look at products in different ways, like unexpected benefits of having, you know, things I didn't realize I was going to get when I, when I got this product, um, things that you may consider when buying a product like this and why you chose this one as the winner, things like that. So you want to do more than one video. I, my biggest sales on the products that I have are things that I have made multiple videos about answering different questions. I also go into the comments of the videos about the product and then make a reply video. And then I'm able to tag the product again. Like for example, I was doing a journal, a mood journal, and people were asking how many pages does it have? So then that spends another video where I'm answering the question about the pages. Somebody else asked, do the pages bleed? And then I can make another video about, do, you know, whether the pages bleed. Somebody else asks, what's the size of the journal? So I can, like I said, do an unboxing. I can do, I'm using it. This is me kind of like a voiceover one, but I can also answer the questions that the audience has and make more and more videos. So when I go and I look at other creators, I'll just kind of scroll down their feed and just see how many times they're, they're talking about this one product. And it's like, I know they're doing very well on that product. I can tell by the views. I can tell by you know, the follow up things that they, they say, you know, you can just tell when someone's been successful on a product because they'll make a bunch of videos about it. And then they'll also be responding to comments about people saying how wonderful it is, you know, that they bought it, etc. So, so that was tip number two. Tip number three is be very careful about what you say in your TikTok shop videos so that you don't get a violation. You don't want to say things like dupe. You don't want to compare it to, uh, you can compare it to another product, but don't say that product's name. So I got a violation one time for reviewing a smartwatch and I said Apple and within just seconds of posting the video, I got a violation because of the AI, um, video review process. I had another video that had gone viral and got a violation months and months later. So I don't know why there was a span of time, but just be very, very careful. I tend to stay away from weight loss supplements. Uh, those kind of things because it's there's not really a lot that you can say to promote those items without getting a violation. So I tend to stay to safer products like clothing, um, home good things, you know, things that I'm not going to inadvertently say something like weight loss or uh, 
whatever else would get me a violation. So the other thing that you want to do is just like any TikTok video is you want to get your videos categorized and you want to get on the search. So you want to use the same words over and over all throughout your video. So you're going to be saying it a lot. Uh, you do captions on your video. I always recommend doing captions for people like me that are hearing impaired and then also people that just want to watch videos on you know, silent, they, they need to read the videos. So often if I don't have my hearing aids in and I'm scrolling on TikTok and someone doesn't have captions on, I just skip their video. I'm just, I'm, I can't hear them that well. I don't want to turn my phone up super loud. So I'll just skip. So add the captions to your video. So you're saying the words audibly, you have the captions on your video. You're going to put some kind of word, you know, text on screen that has those keywords. You're also going to use the description of your video. Sometimes they call that the caption. Um, the little thing at the end where before you post, where you put your hashtag and you also want to use the keywords in your hashtag. So if I were making a video about this romper, I would be talking about the romper repeatedly. This is the romper. I really love this romper. I'm not going to say that exactly. I'll be like, this romper has adjustable straps. Um, and then I would have text on screen about that. I would have my, my dog is making noise. Anyways, I would have the text on screen and then I would put that in the description of my video. I'd be like this romper is great it has adjustable straps and like all the same things and then i would tag you know women's romper romper um romper shorts romper uh, adjustable straps i mean whatever my hashtags are the point that i'm trying to make is don't just say it once say it over and over and over and over and over, and over again so that when your video gets categorized it will say you know romper or whatever you're trying to get categorized in that screen and i always get more views when i get categorized and then you also have a chance of getting um, picked up in the search when people are searching for those items. So if I were to go to search and I typed in romper, you have a better chance of the video showing up because TikTok knows that I'm talking about a romper. So it's going to show up in someone's search results. The other thing that I would give you a tip on, and I am not great at this, but I know that I need to do it, but I want to relay that I think this is would catapult me to the next level is to have more than one hook. So I would have text on screen hook. I would have an audio hook of what I'm saying and then some kind of interesting thing happening in the video that would make people go, oh, I want to watch this. So I think I think having all three hooks is really, really important. I want to get better at that, but try to do some kind of hook. So don't like you want to have something where people will stop their school. So I've seen videos where people do stuff like not the gimmicking ones like. I don't know who knew who needs to hear this, but I mean, that one will stop people scroll. I followed this one lady that did a video of a razor that is supposed to shave your lady parts. And she was saying that she was going to be as bald as Steve Harvey. So she said it out loud. She had a little sticker of Steve Harvey. She, you know, uh, it, it just grabbed the, the viewers and she made a lot of money on that razor. So that's, I don't even know what number I'm on anymore, but whatever. <laughs> the next thing I wanted to say is do as many tasks that you can. You will get uh, tasks in your emails and you will also get task uh, notifications in TikTok. Some of them you have to use a specific hashtag. You have to post a minimum number of videos. Um, some of them you have to pick the product from a certain list. So, so read the task requirements very well. One of the things that I wanted to mention about tasks is oftentimes they will run out of rewards before I've been able to qualify to get the reward from the task. And that is kind of a bummer. Uh, I just wanted to just say, you know, just do the best that you can post as many videos as you can to, in order to try to get those rewards before they run out. Uh, there's no limit on how many posts that you can make during a, a day. I've seen some people make 10, I don't know about 20, but 10 shop videos a day. I mean, some of them can be replies. Some of them could be new products. Uh, you know, you do you, I tend to post about three, three on average a day. Some days I'll, I'll post up to six. Um, it just depends on my mood. It depends on what I have going. Like if I have any new samples that have come in, whatever, you know, like some days I don't post anything. Like so I, I did go uh, six days without posting one time and I was still making money because my videos from before were performing. I have so many more tips. I hope that this video is helping you. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribe button is right down there and I'm going to continue sharing more tips. You can also like the video. You can send me a comment, um, but let's continue. I've got way, way more items on my list. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is to get samples of things that you can project that you can do a good video on. So don't just get something 
that like this little coaster and be like, I like this coaster, you know, it's great. Um, get things that you, you can be excited about, that you can talk about, that you think that you will like. For example, I got this romper and I talk about this romper all the time. I just got this, this shirt that goes under the romper and I'm watching myself back in this video and I'm loving the way that it's fitting me here. And it's, it's not tight. It's a little loose. It's a little, it's very light. You know, like I want to talk about things that excite me, not just because I got something for free. So that would be a tip that I would have is get things that you actually like and that you actually need. Next tip is about choosing your sample items. As you get some sales and you start uh, doing better on TikTok shop, you will get coupons from, from TikTok to buy things, for sample items. I've gotten coupons anywhere from like $30 up to $400 all at one time. The $400 coupon was hard for me to spend because I had to get it from a subset of the marketplace and I think that's because they're trying to get people to buy more stuff from overseas. So they're trying to bring the overseas stuff in. So they're giving creators like us the opportunity to get those items. And uh, it's a very high dollar amount in coupons, but then the products are very low price. So I was having a hard time like just finding stuff. And then someone on Facebook had given a tip that you can get multiple of uh, items. So like this romper, I love this romper. I got it in three colors. I got this strawberry sweater. I got myself one and I got my daughter one. You only have to do one video for the multiple items. So, I mean, they're giving you the money. I figure you might as well spend it if you can find something to buy. So um, another thing you can do is you can get multiple items and then give stuff away as gifts. Do be prepared to pay taxes on these because all of these sample items can be considered income. So be mindful of that when you're getting samples that it increases your income level I'm not a tax advisor. I'm, I'm just sharing what I've learned. The next thing that I wanted to mention is that you will get a lot of inbound collaboration requests. And most of the time I just flat out ignore these because I don't have the time to go in. Like I will get sometimes over a hundred in one day. I don't have the time to go into each and every one to read all the stuff they say. A lot of the times, even just seconds or minutes after them sending them to me, I go and I go to see what shop items they have available and they have no shop items. So it's like, why are you contacting me if you have nothing for me to even request a sample on? Another thing that is annoying is they'll say request a sample and you go re request a sample and then you get denied. So I say just save your time and don't respond to, I don't even respond to them. If it's a brand that I'm interested, I will, you know, respond and do those. But mostly I kind of just scroll through the list and see if there's anything interesting and then just ignore all of them. I just don't have the time to look through hundreds of requests a day and a lot of them are just empty like they don't even have any samples or like I said they decline me so that those are inbound requests you can also just go on the marketplace and go and request samples from brands not all shops will have samples available I have seen it where some shops will have a sample for product a but not for a product B um, some shops will have products available and then I think what they can do and don't quote me on this I believe they can look at your your stats on on their back end and then they can decide whether to approve or decline I have been declined two times for samples I think I've been approved for probably 40 so <laughs> ratio wise I'm doing pretty good on that I do have over 20,000 followers on TikTok though so I think my follower count and my engagement is fairly fairly good I, th I think it could be better. Like I said, the hooks, I, I'm still not that great at the hooks because I don't, I don't like fooling people, I guess. Um, so I need to kind of get that out of my mind. I'm not fooling people. I'm just trying to get their attention on what I have to say and what I have to say is interesting. So it's more of like a mental game for me. So we are almost to the end of the list. I have one more tip for you. And actually, you know what? I have two. I have two more tips for you. First off, I like to get product that is available on TikTok shop and is also available on Amazon. And um, so if you're not already an Amazon influencer, I suggest going and applying for that. And I actually do have, I think another video on that. I'll put the little card right here on how to get approved. I don't know, it's been a while since I made that video, but I'll put it right here and you can go watch that. So what I do is I get a free sample from TikTok. I do my review on the TikTok platform. I don't like to say the words TikTok shop, I don't often refer to the little, it's actually down on this side, 
the little shopping cart. I don't often like to do that because I like to take that same exact video and then put it over there on Amazon. So less work for me to make one video and then be able to tag the product on both platforms. And then the final thing I want to say about that, this is my last tip, is to open other social media platform and distribute your videos to those platforms as well. YouTube is a great place to distribute videos. You can do them in YouTube Shorts. And then if my videos end up being over a minute, I just post them as a YouTube long form video. I slap a, you know, a, a thumbnail on there. And then down in the description of the, of the video, I will give my links to Amazon where the products available on Amazon. So um, you could do Facebook, you can do Instagram, you could do Pinterest, but distribute your videos to the other platform. And then eventually you can monetize on those platforms as well. So YouTube has a partner program, Facebook, you can get ads on reels. There's other things that you can make money, Instagram, you can make money on those things. The other thing I, I like about Instagram is you can post your little video on your stories and then you can add a link to, you know, your Amazon shop and the people can go and shop that item right from your, from your Instagram story. So I, I have so many tips. I hope that this video was helpful. I can't wait to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below if you think these tips were helpful. I think they were. I mean, I, I, I feel like I helped myself just talking it all out, but <laughs> so if you're already a TikTok shop affiliate and you've been struggling to make sales, I hope that these tips help you. Uh, one final tip I've got all, I'm telling you, I've got all these bonus tips is that it takes time. There's nothing wrong with you. I've been doing TikTok shops since October. It is now August, so I'm not quite one year yet. It takes time to build up the video volume and then to have the longevity of your videos performing over time. So I have things that people are still buying from videos I made in February and April. So I really like that is more of a passive income because that, that was time I spent back in February and April making those videos. Now I'm making different videos today, but I'm still getting the income from way back when. So make a lot of videos. This is, this is a quality and a quantity game. Make a lot of videos. I'm talking like at least one video a day if you can. Um, the more, the better. Make your videos pop. Make them interesting. If you can't stand to watch your video 10 times as you're editing it, other people are not going to want to watch it either. Just saying. So that is all I have for you today. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I will do more videos like this. And I hope you have a fantastic day. All right. Bye.